Howdy everybody, Keith Warren here, and you're about to see one of our behind the scene vlogs. Alrighty, we're uh, heading out on this vlog to uh, start out in Tyler, Texas. We're heading to Superior Outfitters thing. Got a grand opening, got a store appearance there tonight and tomorrow. And uh, we're going to start this vlog out, uh, um, hopefully, not offending anybody that's uh, watching this vlog. But uh, if it offends you, then get over it. Uh, you know, normally I'm wearing that cap right there, okay, that's on the dashboard, uh, because this is the high road. We always believe in taking the high road. But now I've got a new cap right there. See that? see that and there may be some people that that offends and uh, the people that it offends in my opinion are the people that are supposed to be the most tolerant people out there they you know they tolerate everything but uh, they don't tolerate things that they don't agree with so kind of weird about that but anyway uh, I know that Maddie wound up wearing a Trump t-shirt the other day and she said people were like holy smokes I can't believe you're doing that damn straight so anyway I'm wearing a Trump Make America Great Again cap, and I'm proud of it. I don't know how y'all feel about that, but let me know how you feel about that. Anyway, we're on our way right now uh, to Tyler, but we got a little stop. I got some fishing poles in the back, and we're fixing to see if we can catch a fish, and they got crawfish for lunch, so we're going to show you some, hopefully some fish and some crawfish here in a minute. see that big old alligator johnny loves eating crawfish an expert he is an expert <laughs> and normally i follow johnny tell him what happened today johnny you blew me out of the water today i tapped out a while ago i was feeling like i was going to pass out because i ate so many and then he okay, ate like out. twice as many as me imagine that i think one of those buckets is his alone <laughs> so Anyway, we got to leave here, and I think Johnny's going to be in a crawfish coma oh, yeah. while we're uh, driving to the promotion. But anyway, that's the way it goes. So, anyway, life is good right now. Guess what I'm fixing to do? Yes, this is a this rifle is a virgin. It's never been shot before. This is a 50 BMG. Austin Roar over at Superior Outfitters uh, got it for us. We said, Austin, we need to take a big man gun to Africa with us, so he got us rigged out. This is a Steyr 50 BMG, and we're fixing to shoot those bad boys right there. Oh, I'm gonna do really just shoot it, and uh, and I just gotta shoot it once, just to, just to shoot it. I got uh, my ears in, see this? I got my bubble gum ears, and then I got my big ears, and the reason why, look at this break on this gun. Look at this. You think that's going to be loud? Look at the size of the hole right there. You think that's big? It is. And so anyway, people ask me, said, well, what are you going to shoot in Africa with that? The answer is anything we want to. And uh, one thing I really want to shoot in Africa with that are baboons. Baboons. So stay tuned. You need to be watching the high road because you're going to see some baboons really take it. And so anyway, we're fixing to load it up and uh, shoot it. See what happens. I bet it goes boom. That's better than perfume to me. Once you make that first shot, you adjust your crosshairs to that bullet hole. So I've had to adjust the crosshairs down and to the right because it shot low right. And the reason for that is that the barrel doesn't change. The barrel's gonna stay exactly where the barrel is. All you're doing is moving your crosshairs to where the barrel is pointed. And so that's the way you can uh, basically get it on target pretty quick. So we're gonna go ahead and take a second shot and see what we have.
we're getting close now. I'm going to want to shoot at this distance about 30 yards. What I want to do is I want to be shooting about three inches, three and a half inches low. And the reason for that is because the crosshairs, the, now the crosshairs you have to keep in mind are here. The barrel is down here. And so the, the barrel and the crosshairs will not line up at this distance if I want it to hit it, the target at a long distance. So all I want to do is I want to get it about three and a half, maybe four inches low, but good left to right, and then we'll take a shot at 100. All right, so the first shot I hit low right, we moved it uh, to the second shot. Didn't move it far enough. The fourth shot was perfect, and now what we're gonna do, we're gonna shoot it out there. Oh boy. Now this particular Steyr 50 BMG is really relatively affordable when you start thinking about it in comparison to other BMGs that you've seen me use on the YouTube videos. I mean, this one right here, this really is a lot more affordable simply because it's a single shot. It doesn't have a magazine. You load it right here, it's a single shot is what it is. And so it's much more affordable. It's still heavy as all get out, but it is a big man gun. And of course, we've got it topped off with a sight mark scope. You know, Austin said, I'm gonna get this thing rigged up for you. I'm gonna have it perfect. And he does. Absolutely perfect. That's how you sight a big man gun in. Woo, babe! I'm liking that. Now, y'all need to be watching our YouTube channel because we're going to be doing lots and lots of shows with this little gun right here. Would you like to shoot something like that? I'm just curious. I mean, would you? Would you like to? You know, uh, if you have not been watching our YouTube channel, you have missed out that I've. I've uh, taken a 50 BMG and uh, done a hog hunt with it. Uh, I did a deer hunt with it. Um, I've done a couple of deer hunts with it. Uh, one of them on YouTube got like 4 million views already. I mean, it's pretty badass. So uh, 50 BMG is a badass gun. I mean, you gotta admit that right there, that is a badass gun. And so anyway, that's what we got. And uh, I'm pretty stoked. Africa, here we come, baby. Yeah. Make sure and have your bubble gum ears with you, though. So I'm in the process of uh, doing something that uh, I have pulled myself away from uh, years ago was archery. Uh, I, I love archery hunting. I am a, an archer, but I haven't done it in a couple, three years. And the re there's a reason why it's uh, this, simply it was a business decision. Well, uh, making a business decision now to get back in it and so i'm at uh, leading edge archery here in san antonio i'll introduce you i'm going to show you scott hamlin right here scott is uh he's the owner of this establishment scott say hi hi say how hi. you doing okay there's scott and there's johnny and there's maddie and maddie tell them what kind of bows we're getting rigged out with prime prime bows okay which uh, i was kind of skeptical at first because i couldn't even pull mine back out of the box but I've pulled it back now, and I mean, I can just hold it here all day, like as long as I want. So I cannot wait to get it rigged out and shoot it. Shoot it in that X ray. I'll buy you supper. How's that sound? Deal. That was a solid one. That was right on the money. Oh! I can't do that. Yeah, I like that better. One of my favorite parts. Uh-oh. Pull out the camera and he shoots great. Yeah, got the camera on if he's scared. All right, who's buying supper now? <laughs> Come on up there. Goodness. Anybody know a good target? If you know a good target. Oh, my gosh. If you know a good target, I sure would like to hear from you. I don't know what kind of this is. I know what you call this. A sticky target. You know, the good I don't think I'll be shooting arrows in that anymore. My gosh, and these arrows right here are the ones that are supposed to go in deep, and I would think come out easy. They go in deep, but they don't come out easy for doggone sure. If you know a target that you think would be real good to shoot uh, field tips in, let me know. All right, so I'm fixing to go out of town, and uh, 
I wound up before leaving, I had to do the yard because, yeah, I mean, it was so bad, it's like I almost had to bail it. But anyway, I got the yard all done nice and neat, and I'm kind of proud of it. But I don't know if anybody knows this or not. Look what I got in my backyard. So that's Mr. Pig. His real name is Little Pig. He's not so little anymore. But, uh, and that's Thatcher right there. Margaret, what do you think of this? They can't figure out what he is. I mean, uh, anyway, he's a dang cool pet. I mean, uh, he does lots of good tricks, like eat. Look, look at this. He rolls over. Yeah. Oh, he likes his belly scratched. Oh, yeah, he likes his belly scratched. Mm-hmm. Yep. Tastes like chicken. 